Ever had a burr in your sock? A gaper's like that, only bigger, about the size of a baseball, bright orange with multiple eyes, like the eyes on a potato. And gapers love goats. <laughs> when a gaper gets near a goat, it gives off a continual, high-pitched, happy shriek of pleasure that makes it impossible for the goats to sleep. And the goats get skinny and stop giving milk. And in towns that survive by selling goat milk, if there's no goat milk, there's no money. And if there's no money, there's no food or housing or clothing. And so in gaper infested towns, since nobody likes the idea of starving naked outdoors, it is necessary at all costs to keep the gapers off the goats. Such a town was Fripp. Fripp was three leaning shacks by the sea. Fripp was three tiny goat yards into which eight times a day the children of the shacks would trudge with gaper brushes and cloth gaper sacks that tied off at the top. After brushing the gapers off the goats, the children would walk to a cliff at the edge of town and empty their gaper sacks into the sea. The gapers would sink to the bottom and immediately begin inching their way across the ocean floor, and three hours later would arrive again at Fripp and split into three groups, one per goat yard, only to be brushed off again by the same weary and discouraged children, who would stumble home and fall into their little beds for a few hours of sleep, dreaming, if they dreamed at all, of gapers putting them into sacks and dropping them into the sea. In the shack closest to the sea lived a girl named Capable. Earlier that year, her mother had died. Since then, her father had very much liked things to stay as they were. At dusk, Capable would find him in the yard, ordering the sun to stay up, then sitting sadly in the flower bed when the sun disobeyed him and went down anyway. The last thing her mother had ever cooked was rice, and now Capable's father insisted that all his food be white. So in addition to brushing gapers eight times a day and faithfully mending her gaper sack, Capable also had to mix sugar and milk and cliff chalk into a special white dye and spread it over whatever she was cooking that night. It was a hard life, and it made her tired. Father, she said one day, maybe it's time we moved away from the ocean away from the gappers. My dear, I'm surprised at you, he said. This is our home. It has always been our home. There have always been gappers and exhausted children brushing them off. I myself was once an exhausted child brushing off gappers. It was lovely, the best years of my life. The way they fell to the sea from our bags and anyway, what would you do with your time if there were no gappers? Sleep, said Capable, whose eyes were deep, dark pools. Ha <laughs> ha, sleep, yes, said her father sadly, and went off for his afternoon nap. Now gapers are not smart, but then again, they are not all equally stupid. One day, at the bottom of the sea, one of the less stupid gapers, who had a lump on one side of its skull that was actually its somewhat larger than average brain sort of sticking out, calculated that, of the three houses in Fripp, the reddish one, Capable's house, was about 15 feet closer to the sea than the next closest house, which, when you are the size of a baseball and have no legs and move around by crinkling and uncrinkling your extremely sensitive belly, is useful information. So that night, instead of splitting into three groups, the gapers moved in one very large, impressive, shrieking group directly into Capable's yard. 
There were approximately 1,500 gapers living in the sea near Fripp. Each Fripp family had about 10 goats. Therefore, there would normally be about 500 gapers per yard or 50 gapers per goat. Tonight, however, with all 1,500 gapers in Capable's yard, there were approximately 150 gapers per goat. <laughs> Since the average goat can carry about 60 gapers before it drops to its knees and keels over on one side with a mortified look on its face, when Capable came out to brush gapers that night, she found every single one of her goats lying on its side with a mortified look on its face, completely covered with shrieking orange gapers. When the other Fripp children came to brush gapers, they found they had no gapers. So they went back inside and fell asleep. <laughs>